Welcome to part two of our two-part video demonstration on how to install vCenter Heartbeat 6.6 to protect SQL Server. In part one, we covered how to prepare for the installation with pre-installation configuration and how to install the primary and secondary Heartbeat instances. Now, in part two, we will show how to complete the installation by performing the necessary post-installation configuration and verifying the installation with failover testing. After installing the primary and secondary Heartbeat instances, we switch back to our primary server. We open the services snap-in and change our SQL service account to a domain account instead of a local computer account. Notice that we change the account to domain slash service name and we restart the service. Also notice that our server agent is not running, so we go in and make it a service account on the domain. Then we set this service to start automatically and then start it. This will allow us to add it as a protected service in vCenter Heartbeat. Next, on the console, we click Add and type in localhost and click OK. We see that we have some errors. To fix the errors, we go to Plugins, click Edit, and enter the domain name, the SQL Server account name, and the password, and click OK. Then we go to Tasks and open User Accounts. We add in the service account again, wait for it to be checked, and click Close. Now we will set these two set SPNs to use that account instead of the local system account. Once done, we select the primary and click on Run Now we see an exit code that is zero, which means it's completed successfully. Notice that on the server, we still have a degraded application. We go ahead and add in the SQL Server agent, and we see that it shows up now. We also see that it's running on the primary and stopped on the secondary. Go back to Tasks, and we notice a plugin failure. This is because the account we're using does not have the access to the SQL Server. So we will add our service account to SQL itself to enable login access for it. The service account also needs the access to all the databases and the systems to perform checks on the server. We make this account a sysadmin account to provide full rights into the SQL database. Now to verify if the errors are fixed, we run it again. We see that there are no errors. We go to Tasks again and run our Discovery task to ensure that we don't have any errors. We have green check marks on both sides, which means that there are no errors. We will now fail over to the secondary node to make sure that our configuration works well. We see that we're running on the secondary server and the applications have started on it. We'll go and fail back over to the primary. Note that because the packet filter is being removed and added again, you'll see that disconnection if you're doing this over RDP. We see that all our applications are started again on the primary, and the secondary is returning with a zero millisecond recovery point. This concludes our two-part demonstration on how to install vCenter Heartbeat 6.6 to protect SQL servers. Thank you.